Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, and still, the voice of hardcore boxing. Just having a little uh, <coughs> lunch break. There's no rest, there's no rest for the wicked is there? Right. Here we go. I've just been talking. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to word this now or what I'm going to call this video. I've just been talking to somebody right who knows a little bit about what's going on with Pool F5 and Joshua. Um, the Saudis knocked it back. The Saudis knocked the Dillian White fight back, right? So the Dillian White fight, Saudi don't want that. They don't want the Pula fight. So if they don't want them fights, what fights do they want? Do you know what fights I've been told? They only want the Wilder fight or Fury fight for Joshua now over there. Tell us about that, eh? So where is Eddie Earn gonna go? Where's he going to go with the Joshua Pulef? Now, we've all seen these interviews, haven't we? I mean, people send me little bits from them that I don't, I don't believe what, what they're talking. All, all I have to say on it is this, it's rubbish, utter rubbish. Don't believe the lies because every single day, this is every single day, we have videos coming out on IFL. Oh, Eddie Hearn's done an interview on IFL. Oh, God, not Eddie on IFL again. They're squeaking as much as they can about Fury, Joshua. They need Tyson Fury. And let's have it right, I didn't think Tyson had beat Wilder. I didn't think he had it in him to do what he did, but he did. So, I got it wrong. Well done, Tyson Fury, but... Joshua is coming off the back of a stinker in Saudi. So they don't want Joshua back there fighting some some guy who's like a Charlie Martin, a Pulef, or a Dillian White, a Povetkin, a Takam. They don't want any Parker. They don't want anybody on that level, the Saudis. Not when they're putting that kind of money up. They want the biggest fight in the box in the boxing industry at the moment. The biggest fight in the sport of boxing at the moment is Tyson Fury, the WBC champion, the Ring Magazine champion, and Joshua, who's got four belts, but they were all Fury's belts, weren't they? They didn't lose it ring. So Joshua is classed as an imposter. That's the facts. They are the facts. He's an imposter, right? He might, has he got a better record than Tyson Fury? He's got more world title wins, hasn't he? But Tyson's beat Vladimir, didn't he? He beat Wilder. They were classed as invincible at the time. He took him to school, didn't he? So that outweighs anything he's done. So I don't think it's a 50-50. I think it's... I think it's a 60-40 in Fury's favour. Well, Joshua's belt, so right, he was gifted a gold medal at the Olympics. He was gifted a decision in court, wasn't he? Let me back up. He was up for GBH, wasn't he? GBH merchant and drug dealing. Right, he ended up doing two week on remand and he got a combination order, didn't he? Probation and community service. That's not bad, that, for dealing drugs, is it? Not bad. And getting somebody a good hiding. Was it? Am I, am, I, <laughs> am I right here? He got a gift at the Olympic because he's got a great story. Got a great story though. Now, before Joshua went to Olympics, he'd already had Slick, Eddie Hearn, in his ear hole. He were chipping away and chipping away and chipping away for, for a good couple of years, weren't they, McCracken and Eddie Hearn? They knew what they were doing. Look, the bottom line is this. Do you think for one minute that Frank Warren's gonna just go run into them and give him a 50-50? If Eddie Hearn wants 50% to fight Joshua, you know they know that they're not worth it. The tables have turned, it's 60-40 Fury now. It's got to be, hasn't it? 
Laniel and WBC and all them other belts, they're only on loan anyway. You got them by default. Fury took all them belts off Vladimir. The only one missing were Wilder's belt and he took that off him. Come on. He's got the Laniel belt back. He's the man who beat the man who beat the man. Who's Joshua beat? He beat Vladimir 18 months after Fury took him to school. Look, we all know what happened, don't we, with the Povetkin fight. We all know what happened, don't we? Do you know what really started the ball skidding down for Joshua? Do you know when it went skidding out of control? The Takam fight. They slipped Takam in at 12 days notice, didn't they? Because Pulef were injured. So they put Takam in. And it were an awful stoppage, right? Joshua couldn't get him out there. It were an awful stoppage. And after that, it were on the slide. The Povetkin fight, everybody were comped. They were all giveaways, them tickets. Help the heroes! That's where all tickets went on that one. Help for heroes. All right, listen to me, Big P. I'll tell you straight. They've milked it and milked it and milked it. And it's overkill. And now they want to come to the table. I could get into trouble for showing you. Look. No, I'll just tell you. They want to pay Pulef step aside money. Pulef knows this. Of course he's going to want money for not fighting. If you're a fighter and you're going to get your shot anyway, but you just got to wait a bit longer, would you take a million dollars to step aside? Yes. Did Billy Joe take 100,000 to step aside? Yeah, he did, but he still got his shot against Andy Lee in the end, didn't he? But he, Billy Joe had step aside, didn't he? I don't know if Dillian White and Callum Smith has had step aside. There's a rumour going around that they have, but I don't know. Rumour is a pipe blown by surmises, jealousies. Rumour is a pipe blown by surmises, jealousies and conjectures. Al Capone, 1925. So don't listen to rumour, listen to fact. We've no proof that Dillian White and Callum Smith have had step aside. But they are the longest two fighters in WBC history that never got their shot at the belt. They didn't get the shot at the belt. Why is that? God only knows. Ask them. But... If Thomas Hauser didn't tell us about Dillian White's second failed drug test, would we have known about it? No. So if they're not going to tell us about a drug test, they're certainly not going to tell us about taking step aside money, are they? Eddie Earn is worried. He's on the rack. Frightened to death! They've got a fight pool left and they've got no rematch clause. No safety net! We all know what accountants are about, don't we? I know an accountant, I know two. They have a safety net. They fight pool, I have no safety net. They had a safety net with all the other ones. They had safety nets with them all. They didn't with pool left though. They haven't with pool left though, have they? Bob Adam's not gonna give them one, is he? Pool left's 40 next year. How old's Povetkin next year? He's 42. And there you sky, next two pay-per-views. And what's the third one? They've got three coming up, haven't they? I forgot that, that's the casual in me. But, it's not good, is it? Oh, who's sick Chisora? So Chisora's got nine losses, that's pay-per-view. Povetkin's 42 next year, he fights Joshua, that's pay-per-view. And, who's the other one? Povetkin, uh, Osep Chisora, Povetkin, Dillian White, Joshua Pulef. Pulef's 40 next year. So you've got a, a guy 40 next year, 142 next year, and the other one's got nine losses and loads of miles on clock, Derek Chisora. And everybody, including Eddie Earn, said he was done after the Caballel fight, but they brought him back. Three of them fights are recycled rubbish. Pulef's been recycled yet again. He's been round block. Povetkin's been round block. He's an old man. And like I said, Pulef and Povetkin and Chisora, all in pay-per-view fight. Usek and Chisora. Usek 
Chisora, right? Pavetkin, Usep. Usek's not from England, not born here. Chisora's not born in England, so that's one pay per view. So Usek, Chisora. Dillian White and Pavetkin, they're not born in England. Then you've got Joshua against Pulev. So Joshua's the only English man to headline in the next three pay-per-view shows that are on in space for six weeks, is it? Six or seven weeks. So you've got one guy born in England, right? Out of them next three fight headlines. So the other five are not British, are they? They're not English. They're not born here. I know I shouldn't make a big thing about that. So do we call these fights international fights apart from Joshua's? Well, and look, they're even trying to get out this one. It's recycled rubbish and nobody is saying a word, only me. What they're going to do to me though? Take my press pass out. Take my press pass off me. I don't want a press pass. MTK say I can have a press pass for every single show I want. Any single show I want. Main man found then. So I can have a press pass if I want. Well, I got to ask. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'm happy here. I'm doing all right from here. We can watch from afar, can't we? I like people that are right with me. MTK are good people, though. They pay everybody on time, don't we? So we look to them and thank you for the offer, but no, thank you. No, I don't want it. I don't want to be a one of them people hanging out the back of people that running around like Umar, IFL Umar. I don't even take my camera to Dennis's shows. I've only ever took it once and that when I did something uh, with Terry Chap and Dharma at one of Dennis's shows. That's the only show I've ever took my camera to. I don't want to be like Ingram Jones, who I like. Umar, IFL, Coogan, Michelle Phelps, Rob Tebbett. I can't see myself as one of them. I'm not one of them people that chases around after people. Leaders don't do that. If you're a leader, you don't chase people, do you? Alpha males don't chase anyone, do they? So, no. I know my place. And, and, <laughs> and that's at the bottom of the ladder. I'm like the... I'm nearly the shit on the shoe, aren't I, in boxing? But at least I'm there, aren't I? A little bit. But no, I don't see myself doing that. Maybe I'm a bit harsh on myself there, considering where, we, where we're in. Considering the situation that my channel's in now, where... Uh, Big people are coming to the table. And like I said, if people could come and back me and help me, that's brilliant, isn't it? But we've still not got 3,000 subscribers yet. So, all these people with hundreds of thousands of subscribers and half a million, I don't believe any of it. Why do, why do I not believe it? Well, there's only 30,000 people buy the Ring magazine. If you buy Ring magazine or Boxing News, 30,000 subscribers subscribers 30,000 buys a week you're going to be hardcore aren't you but all these people with half a million followers and all that no nah, I don't believe it I don't believe some of these other massive YouTube channels I don't believe any of it I don't believe it I'm sorry but I just don't trust anybody so I don't believe it nope 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 if these people had such big followings, right, you heard what Terry Chapman and said the other day, they'd have their own chat shows like Jonathan Ross. But the harsh reality is, and you the fans are not going to get to know this, but what you can do on these now is unbelievable. You can do anything. You can superimpose people onto bodies. You can put fake stuff out. My subscriptions is 10% of what the boxing people follow boxing news, so that's good in it really. But it shouldn't be about that, it should be about the content. Alright, I'm gonna show you something now, right? Let me show you something. See what you think to this. Alright? This is that this is honesty for you. I'm so when people out there that are saying to me, Rush, you're coining it in. Not coining it in at all. You ain't no money in boxing. I'm going to show you some of And you're going to be shocked to you now. You're going to be shocked. But we believe in being honest. But for all them people who keep saying, Ah, oh, Porky, you do this, you do that, you're coining it in. No, 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 no. I'm a smart individual, but I'm not coining it in in the boxing industry. And look. I think it's that one there. I'm going to show you something. And you're going to go, wow, 
So we've just had a million, million, uh, we've done a million views, haven't we? Right, let's just wait for this to come up here. So I've really got a clue how this works. So I'm going to show you some. I'm going to show you how much money is generated, and then you're going to understand now how you're going to understand why we have Coogan, Michelle Phelps, and Rob Tebbett going round the same people all the time, interviewing the same 30 people. If they can't get an interview with Tyson Fury, they'll go to John Fury, Shane Fury or people around them, or people that have trained them but they're neglecting all the other people like amateur kids, novices, pro, novice pros we're not going to do that here because we're not like that but I can understand but for them it's about money they might love the sport as well and I think deep down them kind of people do it. I think Coogan's very good at his job but when was the last time we filmed an amateur show at over in the country? When was the last time we went to speak to somebody who's, who doesn't do views? They're not going to do, are they? Because it's time wasting for these people. Time wasting. Right, here we are. Uh, analytics. Let's have a look. Here we go. You're going to be shocked here now when I show you this. Right. You can take a gander at this. Take a gander at this. Right. I'm going to show all you people who keep saying, Porky, you're only in it for money. You're only in it for money. Are you ready? Are you ready? Right, there you go. You see that? What's that say there? You see it? 1,007,558 and how much money is there? You see it? 756 quid 2.8 thousand subscribers 166,000 hours watch time a million views if you go onto the channel you'll see that I'm a couple of days in front of you a lot so that's a million views 756 quid Right, Coogan will be on Premier Ads. Right, so he'll be on every million, every million views that Coogan gets. Every million views that he gets, he will be on. See that seven hundred and fifty-six quid. What's that going to do? That won't even pay for my new big pull-up. I'm going to put my new big pull-up's going to be the thumbnail for for this. Now there's no money in it. Where you get some money out of the job is sponsorship and they might cover your expenses or you might get a few some a few bottles of pop off somebody <laughs> or a lot of bottles of pop. There's no money in what we do here. We do it because we love the sport. Right? We love it. We feel it in here. Now these other people, I'm going to say this, you don't love the sport or you might do but you don't love it as much as me because if you did love the sport as much as me why are you following all these people around all the time that, that, uh, the, the biggest stars in boxing that you know the three percent why are you following this three percent around and you're neglecting the other 97 percent of people in the industry for example how many times have we seen all the big hitters on youtube come to mick wales gym why not mick wales trained he won national titles with titles with tyrone nurse he changed Robbie Barrett from a, 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 what it from an orthodox to a southpaw or southpaw to an orthodox, and they won ten on trot. He's had Josh from debut, Dempsey and Gwyn from debut. You now Chris Medley had uh, Liam Cameron from a ten-year-old. They went they won ABA seniors and they ended up winning a Commonwealth title, world ranked in top twelve with IBF middleweight before it all went a bit peak Tong for Liam, but. I never see anybody up at, at, at Chris Medley's gym. Well, why not? I don't see anybody up at Clinton, Wood, Clinton Woods gym, or I don't see anybody up at Richard Towers gym. Why? Why not? Why don't I see that? Why not? It's because they don't do the views, isn't it? If you don't do your, if you don't do the views, you know, you know, good to people, are you? You know, good to these YouTube people. 
if you can't do the views well it's no good is it it's no good at all and, it, and it's a shame isn't it it's a shame but in my opinion it's just just that's what it is it's bullshit it's bullshit and so don't tell me or come out saying you love the sport and this and that they're all playing the little parts yeah but we all know what's going on don't we they're all being controlled by Eddie Hearn that's it all the managers trainers and fighters they all know this well we all know what they think about certain people that are following Eddie Hearn around all day we all know but these people are not going to say a word it's like at school you want to punch your teacher but you don't because headmaster will ex expel you and it's a bit like that so we're just going to keep doing what we're doing but like I said when you see Eddie Hearn on here doing 250,000 views in one day and then you see them shooting off to do another one if they're doing 2 million if they're doing 2 million views a day on IFL they're earning 2 grand a day aren't they right so look at it like this because they're on premier ads every million every million right every million views it's a thousand pound for them top youtube channels so every time they do somebody 250,000 views it's 250 quid in pocket so if you can fly out to vegas to see tyson fury and he does half a million views you'll get your plane ticket which will probably be your sponsors you know tell sponsors and you'll get 500 quid for just doing that one interview but while you're there with Tyson you might as well interview all the people around him because it all and put the same tags in on your videos the tags are just below you just put a tag in and then they'll watch that video and they'll go do you know what I like that I'll watch that one that's how it works it's controlling whereas us we're not like that here at Porky's Corner it's not about that for us note to share out anyway is the really we're not about that we're about what's being right okay well if you've got petrol in your car food in your fridge and a few quid in your pocket who wants to go chasing around anybody else you've got to be your own people aren't you don't be a sheep all right don't be a sheep be a lion okay so that's about it really but pool left fight they don't want to fight pool i've been saying for ages but they might have to Frank Warren knows this, he's got the upper hand now. They have the upper hand. When you've got Barry Hearn doing an interview of the month going, nah, 60-40, 60-40, Frank was saying 50-50 then. Now they're saying 50-50, Hearns, oh, yes please. Frank's going, nah, 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 no. Nah. They're not, no. Nah. Because they're going to want to milk their cow as well, aren't they? We'll get that fight just like we will Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather won when it's overcut. The fans will be the victims. That's what's going to happen. The fans will be the victims. We'll, we're being lied to. We're being lied to by people who just want to manipulate us. That's what's going to happen. Too many mouths are at the trough. Too many cooks spoil the broth in my opinion. Dennis, that's one of Dennis's sayings. So many cooks spoil the broth. But I think Tyson Fury knocks Joshua about. Knocks him about. He's too well schooled, isn't he? Now he's added a bit of power to his game. Probably knocks him out good and proper. Do you know what I mean? So, and that's what I want to see. I want to see Joshua iced. So I don't like him. But at least I'm willing to say I don't like him. These other YouTubers, they're all hanging out at the back of him, aren't they? Because they want views. Naughty naughty. Have a bit of self respect about yourself, so you other YouTubers. Be like UC TV Boxing, Ultra Tech Sports Raw Boxing. No, Ultra Tech Sports Raw YouTube, sorry. Boxing Asylum. Porky's Corner. Be like us, because we're a small minority. We're anti establishment. That's what we are. Anti establishment. I am. I have to see everything to death. Even a 35 mile an hour speeding ticket in a 30 zone, I'll have to see that to the death. Whether it's four appearances at court, four 
times five quid parking, four times five quid, it cost me probably hundred quid in expenses and four days not doing anything, just to go deal with it, just to see it through. You have to be your own person, all right? We don't have to hang out at the back of Eddie Hearn to get on in boxing, because you know once Anthony, do you know once Anthony Joshua's gone, right, once Anthony Joshua's gone, you know what's gonna happen? I'm telling you, they're gonna bail out, because why do they wanna work for pittance? They might just let Frank Smith run it into the ground. He's not experienced enough, is he? But that's how I look at it. So why don't Sky just get TV to MTK and let them do the job properly? Because they've got all the main fighters, haven't they? Give it to them. But there's exciting times ahead and it's going to be very interesting how it unfolds. Especially the Fury situation, Tyson Fury situation with the TV in England. It's all up in air. But if I were going to say something, I'd say they don't want Joshua Poole left, but they might just have to roll the dice. And they'll tell themselves, well, if we lose the Joshua, fight, Joshua Fury fights, it's always going to be there, but we're just going to have to take 40%. We'd we'll have to do, because they have no belts, would they? But who wants to see Poole left against Fury? Nobody. A Bulgarian against an Englishman in, 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 in America. Who wants to see that? Nobody wants to see that. We all want to see Fury Joshua, don't we? But we're not going to get it because there's too many people in the kitchen trying to trying to wash the pots. Only one person can wash the pots, can't they? And one can dry. So why do we need 20 people in a kitchen washing pots? No good, is it? Buy a dishwasher, I say. So, like I said, I'm just sick of the oh, shit. sick of it. But peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. But Joshua doesn't want Pula. Remember I said that first, he doesn't want it. Because it's too risky fight. And he's 40 next year. And Dylan White's opponent's even older! Hey, that's about that. Dylan White's even old. Dylan White's opponent's older than all of them. Unbelievable, isn't it? Pavetkin's old enough to be Daniel Dubois' dad. How's about that? Eh? What is going on there, eh? Unbelievable. Peace out.